Have you ever wanted to speak to the dead? Ever wanted to say goodbye to a loved one? But you never got the chance. Or did you want to ask Ted Bundy why he killed so many people? Well, if you have, then follow these steps. You'll be chatting with the dead in no time. The following is a list of things that you will need to complete this ritual. One, you'll need a window, preferably one that does not open. The window will need an open view of the outside and nothing obstructing your view. That means no screens. Also, the window must not be facing a wall. A clear view of grass or a field works best. Two, a feather of about five inches in length is needed. You can eyeball the length, just make sure you can touch it from both sides of the window. This feather will act as a microphone to you and your guest. 3. You're going to need salt. Any kind will do. This is very important. The salt acts as a barrier. You don't want to slip into the land of the dead, do you? 4. Water is also needed. About a cup will do but I'd bring to just in case. Five, finally, you'll need something of deep sentimental value to you. This item could be anything from a toy your father brought you to the key to your first car. The more value it has to you, the better it will work. This and the cup of water are just in case something goes wrong. Once you have all the items you need, the preparation is pretty simple. Turn off all the lights and the electronics in the house. This can be achieved easily by flipping the circuit breaker off. Next, you'll need to close and lock all the windows and doors. You'll also need to cover all the windows, except the one you'll be using. Finally, make sure no one is in the house or will be coming over and interrupting the ritual. After you have done all the necessary preparations, wait until it is 3 o'clock a.m. and go to the room you will be doing the ritual in. Close the door and put a towel under the crack of the door, then line the entrance with salt. After that, take a seat at the window. Once seated, Open the window, place the feather in a way that both you and your guest can touch it, and then close the window. As soon as you close the window, put some salt into the cup of water and place it on the windowsill. After you have done this, place your hand on the feather and stare deeply out of the window. Try to imagine your guest as if they were sitting right on the other side of the window. You have to believe in the ritual for it to work. No half-ass is here. If you truly have your heart set on this, your guest will appear on the other side of the window. Once your guest grabs the feather, you can ask them pretty much anything. However, there are a few things you will have to be aware of while you are talking to your guest. First, you must never look at or address the cup of water. Even the slightest glance will ruin the ritual. Second, do not cry. A single tear will cause your guest to fade away with a grim look on their face. Finally, if your guest starts to act or talk funny, if their appearance and voice start to distort, and if they start to scream, let go of the feather, drink your cup of water as fast as possible, and hold on to your item. If all goes well, when you open your eyes, your guest will be gone. However, if all goes well and you want to end your conversation, all you need to do is respectfully thank your guest for their time. After a few seconds, your guest will fade away. Once you have completed the ritual, leave the room and pour more salt on the outside of the door. Do not enter this room for another three hours and don't open the window for another three days. This ritual can only be done to times. So choose wisely on who you want to talk to.